Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another reaction today. We're hopping into Gilmore Girls episode number 19, season number five, called But I'm a Gilmore. Hopefully, it's a great episode. Hope it's a lot of fun. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series. If you have, of course, you like, you comment, you subscribe to the channel. Patreon for the full reaction on cut episode if you want them. If you don't, totally cool episodes will be here on YouTube whenever they show up. So, previous episode, we had uh, the one where Luke purchased a house. He bought a house, or he, he wants to buy a house. He helped fix up a house, turned it into a museum. We had this weird-ass interaction with team, him and Dean about, um, about essentially Dean saying that you're not good enough for Lorelai. You never will be. They they have bigger plans than this this small town. So I don't know. I don't I don't buy it the way it makes sense for Rory. It doesn't make sense for Lorelai though. Honestly, Lorelai legitimately is like she's her job is here. She's gonna be here. But I guess the point is that for Luke, everything is this town. Like he lives, he breathes this town, no matter what. I guess. Maybe that's where, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so we're going to hop in here for a good time. Not, we didn't have anything with Emily last episode, did we? I think it mostly focused on Luke and the whole, the whole thing. Well, here we go. got drunk forgot and Harris was out in the street begging for money well you know coffee. I forgot you cried to her I, I, know, made, a whole, I made a whole that thing lady. about it I was like why are you crying like oh, it's so weird why she was like why doesn't she why doesn't he love me and I'm like what? we talked about this I know I didn't make you do this. I know. I'm not accusing you of anything. She's this isn't now. your fault. I, I don't that. understand. I thought everything was going so well. What are you talking about? I, I haven't heard that. from you in a week. I was ultimatum. I am not issuing an ultimatum. That's not what I heard. Why are you I said, let's What's be happening? friends. Why are you That's not what you meant. Oh, I need a taco. He doesn't want to lose her. I need a taco. Bathrobe in your closet for overnight guests. That's all beside the point. You came in here to say you were unhappy with the situation, right? Right. Fine. I've rectified the situation. Problem solved. No, problem not solved. Hey, if I say I can do this, I can do this. Uh, Excuse us for just a second. We're almost done here. Sure, I'll just wait out here. Ah, uh, Logan, this is who you are, bro. You can't so the give Swedish it up. Swedish flight attendant should be here any minute. I swear this situation has never happened before in my life. Logan. Rory, do you really want to stop seeing me? No, but I can't. Because I don't want to stop seeing Ah, uh, don't fall for this, Rory. You're gonna get cheated on. I know you can do that, but... You're gonna get cheated on. Throw up on him. You can't be that naive, girl. Or well, maybe you're just that optimistic. Is your man here waiting for you? Probably naked? Um, or was crying? Doyle? Hey. What are you... e, that involves Suki's clone, also named Suki. Well, um, who here makes the sauces? Suki. Just ask who makes who the here, sauces. Michelle? Suki trusts no one else with the sauces. She makes the sauces. Well, the plates. That man uses tongs, and I have no idea what that man in the colonel does, but I would Suki does all the cooking? Is that Suki here? We have salads and desserts. Pretty much. Well, really helped a lot. I have to say, half the fun of being with you is the horrified looks on the waiter's faces. He's gonna last Please, like I'm one day. My what do you think? You have a movie? Oh, yeah, something really bad. Absolutely. What are you doing here? Apparently begging for some affection. Oh. Sister. It is so good to see you. You too. Listen, Logan, maybe I should go. But when I came over here, I thought you would take care of me. I am taking care of you. I brought you nanny. I don't want nanny. A, I'm scared of you nanny. An expert. Can't you just take it from here? No. Why? Women belong in the so house, people freak me out. You're pre-med. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. We should have some soap. Lie down. You'll feel better soon, I promise. As soon as possible would be great. But when you're a bed uh -huh. rest, how okay, much bed rest do you more. actually Thanks. have to be Bye. on? Like, hello, can you somebody not there. Get up at all. Hey, mom. Oh. Hey, mom. That's it. You just gave me a heart attack, and all you have to say is, "Hey, mom." I thought you were including goat cheese in the fennel salad. How do you know what's in the fennel salad? So you admit it. Who's you your rat? Goat cheese in the fennel salad. There's a rat. Yeah, I put goat cheese in the fennel salad. It goes good in the fennel salad, and you had it sitting there. And I also. 
okay, ninguno comida salga de este lugar. Comprenden? Yeah, what right, about Luke? you? You comprende? That's my kitchen, Luke. And it will be here waiting for you when you get back. Until then, Luke. sit back, With relax, and watch Ellen dance around a little. I got work to do. Luke! Oh, I scare? No. Yes. Excuse <laughs> me. There's a woman in my room? That's Nanny. You know Nanny. That makes me sad that you don't remember Nanny. She always liked you. How do you call her nanny? She's stripping my bed. Why is she doing that? She has no name? Well, she finally got Doyle to sleep, and she has to do something. I'm not so sure what I got you into. What do you mean? Well, my family's not going to take my sister's engagement too well, and they can be a little vicious when annoyed. Hey, relax. You do not have to worry about me at yeah, all. Five years of Friday Night Emily. Dinners have prepared me for exactly this moment. Really? Remind me to tell you about the time my mom clad a shirt with a rhinestone penis on it, and my grandma had her car towed. Let's see how this goes. How stuck up are they? Jesus, look at this house. Look at the sea. Come on. What do your are your parents like own like a newspaper? Have you right? seen this ceiling? Hurry! Well, look what the cat yep. dragged in. Yeah, it is old. It's all right, Logan. We're still waiting for your father. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that was your dad. Yeah, I mean, nice shit. You. Did you get those books I sent you? I did. Thank you. Hey, Josh, it's been a while. You're looking well. You too. I'm pepper steak without the pepper. Go figure. Where's Pedro going? Hey, no, no, Pedro, Pedro. Oh my God, Asuki here. Too hot. Bring me what, a is, what is wrong with this stuck up old I'll man? I'll be right back. <sighs> this is just how rich people are. What? Mom's a stress smoker. Oh, I don't know. That's not going to happen. You didn't even let me announce it to you before you formed your opinion. And I'm sorry you feel the way you do, but Wait. Josh and I made it official last week. We are engaged S now, and no matter what you say, we are going Wait, they're to get upset about something else. in June. Well, of course you're going to get married. Right, when we've finished our discussion. Which discussion? The discussion about unsuitable people marrying into this family. What? Oh, right Dad. Now. You should know better than this, Logan. I know you like to joke around and tease us, but I always thought at the end of the day, you understood what your responsibilities to this family were. Wait, what? Mom, What's I suggest you come back in here right now. Logan, What's happening? You just haven't thought about this. I mean, I'm sure Rory understands. She wants to work. Isn't that right, Rory? Emily's What's always talking about you wanting to be a What's reporter happening? and travel around doing this and that. A girl like Rory has no idea what it... Not for you, and certainly not for us. Okay, this conversation is going to end right now. What? I am not going to... You here. are going to be taking over this company. That's what you are going to be doing. And when you Holy do, crap. you're going this to need the her. right kind of person at your side. This isn't coming. Logan, come back here. Oh. I don't understand. You're psychotic. What more is there to understand? But, but why wow. don't they think I'm good enough? Rory. I mean, I'm a Gilmore. Do they know that? My ancestors came over on the... We have to go. I'm sure they'll fill you in on everything. Oh, my God. Is your family worse? It looks nice to me. Is your family worse than the Gilmores? Your dad didn't seem too bad. <laughs> being honest. <laughs> If she wants to taste your food, you will let her taste your food. If she wants you to double strain that sauce, you will double strain that sauce, my friend. I just because quit. I have to live with her. And if she is upset because of anything that you've done, I will come over here and I will. Excuse me. Really? You're not going to yell at Suki? You need to yell at Suki, bro. <sighs> at each other. Now pull over. Why? Because uh, you live here. Oh, yeah. What is you this know, golf cart that, thing? That Manny was was doing pretty well. I know. Well, his life kind of, he's like entitled, but like his family kind of sucks, bro. You thought that Gilmore's were bad. Fuck. Does it seem like Frodo is on every freaking channel to you, or is it just me? God, I have never. Did you hear that? Yeah, I sure did. Everything's fine. I just got upset about nothing. Uh, okay, Everything's but thanks for the fine. talk, Mom. And I heard you, but I have to go. You're fucking blind. Okay. Well, call me tomorrow. I will. You're blind to the situation. And I handed him the NyQuil, and then he passed out. Very romantic. I know. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for me, too. Oh, no. Mr. Hussberger. Problems Hello, are here. Hello, Rory. Hi. Paris Geller. We met a couple months ago. No, I know better than to look for my son in the newsroom. I came to talk to you. About what? About... I'm very sorry about what happened the other night. Are okay. you? I mean, you My seem... family behaved atrociously. You seem kind of Logan nice. was a little naive to walk into the lion's den without a chair like that. They were wrong, and you deserve... sure we're getting our money's worth. Stanford isn't a bad train ride from here, is it? Um, no. I have an internship available, if you're interested. Why is an that internship. what's happening? Be a good chance for you to get your feet wet. Get you busy. Experience how the real thing Logan. works. No. Thank you. 
What are you going to do about it? I mean, that's a good point. Monday, 10 o'clock. Call my office for the details. And bring a pencil. You never know when you're going to need a pencil. Did Paris hear what he said? Or she is getting a break. Huh, interesting. All right, that was episode number 19, season number five. The card. Uh, but I'm a Gilmore. Fascinating episode. We got uh, to look in the background of Logan and his family. And kind of, because you know, you guys know me. I've been for a while saying, I feel like Logan's spoiled and all this other stuff. You know, I've been just kind of getting that vibe from Logan. Titled, kind of spoiled brat kind of vibe. And this episode kind of, you know, it doesn't change that. I still think he is entitled, spoiled, whatever. But he seems like a decent person. His family kind of sucks. If we're being honest, family's kind of like shitty. Or at least his parents, or at least his mom and grandpa. Well, mostly grandpa. Grandpa, I think, is what fed into mom acting the way she did. But overall, yeah, it seems like he, they, he was raised a certain way. Like they made it seem like they are so above the anybody else. They have to do things to a certain standard. And if Logan brings a girl who doesn't fit the standard that the family wants, therefore, the family won't accept her. Which is just so messed up, right? Like, what, they, don't, they don't even know Rory. All they know is that she wants to be a journalist. And being a journalist and a career woman is bad. That doesn't fly here. Which I think is... Interesting. I guess they, I guess grandpa would be like a very old school minded person, right? He would be that. They keep saying that Logan's going to run the company, right? So my question is, is Logan's dad the son of the grandpa? Or is it Logan's mom that's a daughter? You know, the whole, I thought that the twist was actually kind of solid with where we went in and thinking, oh, they're probably, they're very upset about the marriage, the marriage, the proposal, all that. What they're actually mad about, said about, is is Rory being there? I did not see that coming. We all, you know, we also had the Luke stuff, where Luke is like, you know, helping out Lorelai and Suki by cooking at the diner or at the at the end, you know, leaving his his own job. His girl, and Suki became kind of annoying. And I thought there was going to be more to that story where Suki, you know, she was worried about losing her job or whatever, losing, not losing her job, but like, I don't know, people, I thought it was going to be like more people, like people love her, her Luke's dinner more than hers or something, and she was going to get upset about it. But it wasn't even that. It was like she wanted it to be perfect. And the fact that it wasn't the way that she did it made it to her not perfect, which made her be annoying and showing up. And then you have Jackson going there to, I guess, defend his wife. But in my reality, I'd be like, Honey, no, like you're being too much, you know, but you know, Jackson is Jackson. In the end, you know, Luke did what he did. Luke, he doesn't get yelled at or nothing. And we just kind of move on. And Rory is going to be in for a rude awakening, right? They keep doing this thing where Rory, where Lorelai just keeps wanting to tell Rory something, but just keeps it quiet because, you know, she doesn't want to butt in and upset Rory. So she just kind of stays quiet on things. But man, is that gonna it's gonna bite her in the ass. Like legitimately in the ass it's gonna bite her. Because she it's how naive she's looking at the situation. Like everything that just happened and all the panic that she did when she called her Lorelei. We hopped in there at the end there and it's uh her essentially Oh, Logan came back, so it's all good now. <laughs> like like what? Like now like oh, I was worried about nothing. What? That's how you see that whole situation? That's so fascinating to me. That <laughs> like she is so blind by everything. Um Yeah, I mean, what else do we have here? Is there anything else major besides that? You know, we have the end stuff. Logan stuff. Oh yeah. Paris and Doyle, they're together now officially. Paris stood her ground, said this is what's gonna happen. You wanna be with me, this is how it's gonna go. That Logan's sister, she seems nice. Also spoiled, but probably entitled. We'll see. We don't know enough about her yet. 
it's you know the most fascinating thing is going to be the Rory thing, where this goes, how rich his family is. Lo- I like that Logan stood up for her. I mean, he didn't really say saying up for her, but he stood up to the situation. Um, but yeah, overall, solid episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna get out of here, and I'll talk to you guys later.